Okay, question nine is your differential equations question. Um, it says the rate at which the temperature of a liquid decreases, that's important, is proportional to the different difference between the temperature in the liquid and its surroundings. And it's actually given you this. It's not, it's not made us create this equation, which is nice of them. But now it wants us to express theta in terms of t, k, and the constant of integration. So we're going to need to rearrange this so that we have the um, theta terms on the left hand side, that's what I do, I'm going to bring this down here, so we're going to have 1 over theta plus 20. A really good tip for this topic is to keep this k, if there's a k, if there's a constant of proportionality, keep it on the top, don't bring k down here it will make things so much easier for you if you keep the K up on the top. So now that we've separated the variables, we can integrate both sides. This is going to be a log, um, theta plus 20, and that's just going to be minus KT, and I'll put my constant of integration there. That's not enough. It wanted theta in terms of so it wanted us to create an equation that says theta equals. So we've got to get rid of this log, um, which if we know that log of x equals y, then the inverse of that is e. So that will equal e to the y. So the kind of um, this version over here is going to be that theta plus 20, that's like my x over here, is going to equal e to all of this. And then we just need to move the 20. So that's actually those couple of extra steps is what it wanted us to do for part one. Which is actually a little bit annoying because this for the rest of the question is much more useful. But that's what it wanted you to do. If you lost a mark, it's probably going to help you later on to pick up more marks. Because if you're trying to use this in part in the rest of the question it's a bit annoying it's a bit bit more hard work um so maybe losing one mark in this part was actually 